as Robinson jammed his shot wide and it hit his teammate Skates. Thunder trying to take advantage as they get into the offensive zone. Stolen, climb to the back door, shot, they score, and that will tie things up. It's a 1-1 game with 5 7 to go in the first period. Well, the hair goes to show you what luck can do for either side. Come back the other way and a puck just falls off the stick of Joey Diamond to Alan Quine who skates in, finds Ryan Hayes at the back door and it's just a tap-in goal for Ryan Hayes. A beautifully worked pass. Down the left wing boards, Trevino back into the zone looking for Quine, trapped in the slot area, finds Hayes with some room, he scores! Ryan Hayes, that is what he does pass, give him a pocket of space and he'll make the most of it as he roots one again a 2-2 tie and the Thunder finally have their power play goal. This guy can just straight out snipe and that exactly is what he did. Rob Linsmeyer will clear it away knocked down at neutral ice by Patterson has a man going to the net his shot he scores oh and Foster gets taken out right after but the goal had already gone in and an absolute blast on a wrist shot there from Patterson has given the Steelheads a 4-2 lead. And Convoy's going right down the tunnel. He must be uh, in some serious pain. Cleared, but not out. Kept in by Martin. Wines, fires, blocked, deflects wide. Four seconds left. Back to the point. It's clear. And that will do it. Tommy Grant misses the empty net anyways. Wouldn't have counted. And the Thunder come up short in their effort at home. They lose their second straight. This one, the 4-2 scoreline against Idaho. Three minutes and 20 seconds to get those two goals, and that was obviously game the way it turned out. Was it a momentum thing? Was it, you know, did they pick up their energy level? What do you think changed? I think that uh, we just made a couple of mistakes uh, late in the second period that kind of, you know, gave them a little bit momentum. But uh, those are little things that we need to, you know, work on to become a playoff, uh, a playoff long team, that's for sure. Can you describe, I mean, what, what type of mistakes? Are mental, physical, uh, we're just defensive? Not, we're just not supporting each other. You know, we were just... Uh, you know, we kind of got lackadaisical a little bit. Uh, it's Those are just a little, one mistake can lead into the back of your net. You know, we watched the NHL, one little mistake and, you know, cost you the game, and tonight it did. I'll spin it more positive. Uh, tell me about your goals today. I mean, you got two of them. Yep, uh, the first one was a great play by uh, Quiner. Just, uh, I think Joey drove the net, and the, he found the puck and just found me back door. Second one, kind of just a broken play, just... Uh, you know, took a good shot when I thought I had an opportunity and I went in. You've been kind of doing that, though, with those little pockets of space, getting a chance to try and stick handle. Are you kind of looking for those shots where you can get just a half second to kind of set your sights on goal, pick a corner? Yeah, I'm just looking for any chance to shoot right now. I'm just, you know, trying to get some momentum for the team. And my job is to score goals and create some offense, and shooting the puck's going to help. Can you comment on how Hayes has been since he's been back? Uh, he, he's scored, which is what he does. I mean, that's very important, uh, you know, and I think he's been more committed uh, defensively, uh, working uh, hard to get back and help out. I think that's, uh, you know, got to be a big focus for him all the time. But he, uh, he certainly has an act to put the puck in the net. You have a lot of experienced players back there on the blue line. Two roars of rookies. I mean, how are you deciding who goes with who? Does it without a constant who might be the guy you'd put your youngest player with, and I know Escobedo obviously is a polished defenseman and you, you had him with Stebna tonight, but how are you deciding who matches who here? Well, we, we had Baldwin and, and O'Connor playing together in the first couple of games and I thought they were okay together, so I wanted to keep them together. They have some familiarity and then, you know, bringing in the new guy, I thought Scooby would be a good pairing for him, just, you know, the fact that he's, you know, the kind of defenseman that he is for us and pretty consistent and steady and, and very, very uh, communicative to his partner all the time. So that was why those two were chosen to, to go together. Um, and then Oz was, was with Gags. Um, like I said, this, yeah, you have a little bit of a, a slide going here. Is there any concern about getting out of it or do you see a way? I mean, I know one win with solves everything here, but you guys have a tiny bit of a, you know, slide down one here. Yeah, right I mean, obviously we're concerned. It's it's not where we want to be right now, and I think that the message right now is that defensive play is, is of utmost importance. Uh, defensive teams that are good defensively win championships. I mean, we've proven all year that we can score goals, and we have to be better defensively, and that message has to be, 
you know, something that the guys buy into. And, and if they do, we've got a chance. But we have to buy into it.